Training for Wilkesboro Police is going virtual thanks to a grant from the DOJ. WXI 12's Joshua Davis experienced the training alongside officers. You'd be surprised at how realistic those scenarios actually were. And experienced officers I spoke to say that realism makes a huge difference. You feel a lot more comfortable doing it. And it's not such a staged, it's more realistic, it's more believable. The Wilkesboro Police Department is using new virtual reality equipment to train officers in de-escalation techniques, thanks to a grant from the DOJ's Community Policing Development Program. Officers like Rocky Moore say they were surprised at the attention to detail. I'm in this, man. It's blinking back at me. It's talking to me. It's breathing. It, it, it adds a level that you can't get talking to a cinder block while trying to train. During the training, officers are dropped into a virtual space and an operator sets the scenario for the officer to train in, ranging from house calls to active shooters. The officer is able to move around and interact with their environment, even people. And the officer and the operator can talk back and forth. Now we can come in any time that these guys are available and we can come in and work on that skill and hone it any time during the shift. Moore says this tool is invaluable in teaching new recruits how to de-escalate 10 situations. God gave you the best tool you'll ever put on your, your uniform and that's your mouth. The Wilkesboro Police Department says this training will help build the confidence of officers, which is key into getting the best outcomes possible. In Wilkesboro, Joshua Davis, WXII 12 News.